In this video, you will learn how to invest in physical gold and silver, which are the best places for gold and silver storage. And we will give you also a forecast on the future pricing of gold, the future quotation of gold, what will happen with the pricing of gold. All this information, you will receive it in this video. Stay tuned. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Thank you, Olivier, for being with us today. I'm very glad. Olivier is one Swiss asset manager who is specialized in gold. He's a, he's a gold specialist. So I'm very happy that this best-in-class asset manager is here with us today, answering all of our questions about gold. So how to invest in gold? What are the best ways to invest in gold, to be on the safe side? Which jurisdiction should you prefer? What kind of gold investments do you advise your clients to buy? Tell us a little bit about your gold investment experiences and about also including then at the end the forecast, giving us also a forecast about the future pricing because the potential of gold is, uh, is not limited, is illimited according to what you told me before. But I want to hear it from you. What is your advice about gold? Well, Enzo, thank you first uh, for inviting me to your show. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, there are a lot of questions at the same time. Um, First of all, gold is an asset class and it is a currency. Gold is a That's currency. That's absolutely true. Uh, gold is available in very limited um, uh, quantities. It's hard to extract. Um, it is costly. So um, it has an intrinsic value and always had in the last 4,000 years. How much gold there is on the world, on the planet? Well, I heard that um, if you put all the gold bars which have ever been uh, melted and, and, and put together, it would be not more than a big room full of gold. It is very heavy, of course, but it doesn't take much volume. Yeah. So it is extremely um, uh, 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 concentrated. Yeah. Now. You can hold gold in gold bars, one kilo, 500 grams, 12 and a half kilos. 12 and a half kilos, on the, the, the movie the, the bars, big ones, you know, we see the movie, 12.5 kilo bars, yeah. Right. Uh, it's relatively easy to buy and sell. There's a, a, a liquid market for that. You can also think of buying coins, gold coins, either uh, uh, old historic gold coins from the Romans, Very but then you are rather mm. an, a collector. No. If you really go for the gold as uh, the, 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 as an the means, as an investment, yeah. then you probably will invest more into one ounce gold coins like the Krugerrand from the South Africa or, maple or the maple leaf uh, in Canada, uh, the, 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 the eagle in America and so on. Um, these gold coins can very easily be uh, uh, hoarded. You can, you can keep it at home or in a safe, in your safe, whatever. You can transport it. It's, that's very easy. It is relatively easy to sell, but again, um, not as easy as a standard gold bar. A gold bar so where is something to buy, standardized. Where to buy? Where is the best place to buy? In Switzerland is uh, one, uh, good, an important place for the yes. gold market. Switzerland is very important for the gold market. But where Definitely. to buy gold and where uh, to organize the gold storage? Is Switzerland a good country, a good place to, for gold well, storage? You know, or? Swiss banks have a very, very strong reputation as yeah. being solid. And uh, most of the banks have their vaults where you can keep uh, in uh, one of these vaults, your uh, uh, gold bars or gold coins or jewelry, by the way, or whatever you box, want. The safety a safety box. box. Yeah. Um, what is important is that even if the bank might have uh, uh, problems or is in trouble, this compartment is yours. You own the uh, content and the bank is not your debtor. That's so you can take important. out. So you yes. can take out out of the bankruptcy yes. mass. You can exclude 
Out that is totally excluded from oh. the bankruptcy mass. Excellent. And this is very, very important. Um, you can, of course, also buy an ETF on gold. The yeah. problem with an exchange traded fund, which is very liquid, by the way, it's very, very good, but you need to be sure that the exchange traded fund is backed by physical gold. Otherwise, you just buy paper, no. and then it's probably not and even worth. And how can you make sure? How can you make sure that the certificate is really backed by physical gold? Well, uh, there are not that many exchange traded fund, and if you go on the internet, you will see that in America, certain exchange traded funds are not fully uh, backed by gold. In Switzerland, there is one very big one. Uh, and I won't mention which bank actually uh, um, uh, issued it, uh, which is really backed by gold one-to-one. -one. And the interesting question is actually that should times um, uh, uh, push you to get the gold out of this exchange-traded fund, you can go to the bank and ask for physical delivery yeah. against your uh, uh, certificates which you hold. That is quite unique. So and you go to the protection. bank and you ask physical delivery, you Absolutely. can take out your gold yes. and then you put it in a private right. vault, to, uh, for example. It is not for want. 100 grams. You uh -huh. need about 12.5 uh, kilograms. So it's a certain amount. But still, if you are an investor, an international investor with uh, widely diversified funds, this is something you can, you can do. Uh, you can hoard What do your you gold. think about metal accounts, so-called metal accounts? Is this a good idea or a bad idea uh, here, you know, these metal accounts? Well, the metal accounts are accounts. That means it's like with cash. So you don't own the gold, really? You don't own the gold. Actually, uh -huh. the bank owes you the gold or the equivalent in so gold. So it's only a promise. You buy a yes. promise. You buy a promise of the if bank. The bank... So be careful with metal accounts. If the, the, the bank goes belly up, yeah. you can say goodbye to your claim. Uh -huh. The same if you have a million dollars on a bank account and the bank uh, goes, uh, goes belly up, yeah. then of course uh, uh, you cannot do much. The bank but with the shares, remorse. But with the shares, this will never happen because Correct. the shares are protected. You can take out the shares out of the bankruptcy mass. You can exclude yes. the shares of the bankruptcy mass and take it to you. It will no, not fall in the bankruptcy mass. It will not fall at disposition of the creditors of the bank. Very important, very important. To minimize your risk, don't put too much cash in banks. Even thinking that Swiss banks are very solid and so on, just remember the last financial crisis, the very big universal banks, which do also commercial uh, activities, investment banking activities, were in trouble and they had to be uh, bailed out. So be careful with cash. I think it is much better to own securities. You can own government bonds, you can uh, own uh, uh, stocks, but these will always be yours. The bank merely holds them as a custodian. That's very different. Huge difference, huge difference. I advise my clients to hold gold in private safety box. So they go somewhere, not in the bank, they go somewhere in private companies offering private vault services. They rent a private vault for maybe $1,000 a year or something like that. Depends on the dimension of the safety box. They buy the gold, the physical gold, uh, also other other uh, precious metals or whatever, or family jewelries or whatever, and they put it there in the safe deposit box. And they have always access, direct access to the safe deposit box. There are many, Absolutely. many companies here offering this. And my advice to international clientele, I would advise you to not have all your assets in your home country. Let's say you live in the States or you live in uh, Argentina or wherever you live, you should not have all your assets. If you are an international businessman, you should not have all your assets in the country where you live because something can happen. You can be involved in a procedure. You can be involved as an innocent person in a legal procedure. And then the first measure the judge will do is freezing the money, freezing the account. So you will be more than happy. And I saw this in my career you will be more than happy if you know, aha, I have some money offshore, I have some money in Switzerland. Even if my money is blocked in my home country, I have some money in Switzerland which I can pay salaries and with this money I can do what I want. I can pay my, my lawyer, my defense. 
Und dann muss ich zahlen. Du weißt, ich habe Zugang zu Geld, weil in meinem Heimatland alles gefroren ist. Ich sah Leute, die bankrott waren, wegen dieser Sache gefroren After a half year of investigation, it came out that they were innocent, completely innocent people lost a fortune. The government will never compensate you. This is your own risk. So to avoid this risk, it's always a good idea to have an exit strategy and to have an offshore bank account or a private wolf in Switzerland to have assets outside of your country of residence. Enzo, you uh, uh, mentioned gold yeah. in, in, in general. Uh, we talked now about uh, physical gold. Yeah. I would like to mention also gold mining companies. Oh, very interesting. Because in a way you have to um, extract uh, 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 more gold and there are uh, uh, a few companies who have been specializing in extraction of gold. And uh, the interesting thing is, first of all, uh, these companies uh, are mostly in Canada America or Australia, Australia, which means in secure jurisdictions, and they mine uh, in a variety of uh, countries all over the world. But the safest, obviously, is uh, Canada, uh, the United States, and, and Latin America. But this is considered as risk investments. These mine mine shares. These mine. Stocks. Well, what you what is the advice you can give to an investor to select? the good shares and the bad shares. So what, what kind of mining stocks should be avoided and mining stocks uh, you should buy? First of all, you have to be aware that there is a kind of a leverage when you buy mining stocks. Let's say physical gold goes up 10%. Your mining stocks on average will go up about 30%. So about three times, two and a half to three times more. The thing is also when gold goes down, the leverage goes the other way. The other way yeah. So when you are in a situation like now, where gold has much more potential upside, you should probably invest part of your money into gold miners. You can go into very big companies like Newmont or, or Barrick, uh, but there are uh, a, a, a big variety of mid-sized gold companies very with very, very good profitable mines. Uh, what is important is that uh, these companies are not too much indebted, yeah. that they have a, a, a remaining lifetime for their mines, which is uh, uh, comfortable, so over 10 years if possible, and that they mine a certain amount of uh, ounces per annum. Uh -huh. um, if you are a 1 million uh, ounce gold mine, then you are one of the big ones. If you uh, produce 100,000 or more, you are in the mid-tier. But if you uh, are not yet mining anything, then you're still in an exploration stage. And there, of course, you have much more risk. Also more potential, but more risk. More risk also. Which means that you would have also, as I said before, you need a diversification. You need some of the so big ones. So diversification is absolutely yes. key. And yes. how you estimate the potential in the gold price? What would happen with the gold price? It will skyrocket. It will be more skyrocketing, or what do you think? Or we are on the limit, or what is I your? I think uh, we will see the last highs, which date back to about 2012, which was just over a thousand nine hundred dollars per ounce. Yeah. were about $300 below. So that's the first uh, step. I think we're going to see that. Uh, afterwards, I think that we will see higher gold prices. Why? Because I believe that the uh, current situation with the huge indebtedness of countries, of corporations and of private people is such that you will have at one point a credit crisis and then I think gold is most probably the best hedge maybe together with the Swiss franc uh, yeah. uh, against any downturn so yes I would say the possibilities of seeing much higher gold prices is real. Thank you very much and how, how big is the percentage of gold, of the portfolio you advise your clients to buy? This is 20%, 30%, 40%, this depends uh, obviously from client to client, but in general, yes. what, what is the, what is a, 
uh, most frequent percentage of well, gold we've, percentage? We've been increasing uh, gold holdings. Increasing, yeah. we, we, we still increase uh, and it's a mix between physical gold and gold mining funds or gold mining stocks. Um, I would say uh, about 10% is probably a minimum in today's minimum, time. Minimum, huh? minimum 10%. But yes. I would push for uh, uh, a better protection going higher. You, you could also uh, include silver. We haven't talked about silver, but silver is a precious metal. Silver is an industrial metal uh, in one in time, industry, but it's, yes. a, it's a precious Very metal important. for the jewelry industry yeah. and it has an intrinsic value. Yeah. And the gap between the gold price and the silver price uh, has been widening, which is not natural. I think the silver price has even a better potential to uh, um, uh, recover and, and uh, get to, to higher levels. Wow, very interesting, very interesting. But you have uh, storage expenses, huh? Do you have uh, silver, the volume is quite bigger as gold, so yes. you have to spend I would more not money hold for the silver uh, necessarily physically. For that, gold is much easier. Uh -huh. But I would buy silver producing stocks. There are uh, uh, companies uh, which operate in Canada or in Mexico, yeah. which uh, uh, are uh, registered in Canada, for example, uh, which are extremely interesting to, to hold. But for a speculative investor or for a conservative investor? I, I think, think even for uh, a conservative investor, yes. you buy wow. the bigger uh, companies, uh -huh. uh, to name one, Pan American Silver, for example. It has been created in the 1990s. This is a very... Uh, solid uh, and, and seriously well-managed company. Um, yes, I would say something like this, that, like that you could put in your portfolio. Thank you very much. So to give a summary, gold is part of every portfolio. Gold is so important, especially now. Uh, in this time, gold should be in every portfolio. And there is this hedge fund guy in Germany telling, you know, third, 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 gold, third, real estate, third, share. And this guy is not wrong. He's not wrong with, with that. O obviously, you have to tailor-made this strategy to the, to the needs and expectation of each single client. But to do that, we have an external asset manager like Olivier, and he will speak with the client first. This is as a manager always uh, discussing with the client and act in his best interest. Thank you, Olivier, for being been with a us today. It was a pleasure to me. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video.